As people of faith, we in the United Church believe that the earth cannot be understood only as a source of resource extraction and wealth generation, but rather as a community in which we live and move and have our being, a gift, a wonder, a home for us and for all our relations. Uh, climate change is important to me because it's important to the, our survival as the human species. We know the facts. We know that it's humankind who is accelerating climate change and making life on this planet something different than it's ever been before. Having safe water for, for us and for our children and those yet unborn is so important to all people of faith. And I believe the United Church has an important role to play with um, our, our being informed about water. Climate scientists tell me that they're counting on us. They're counting on us as people of love to open hearts to what we must do as citizens to avert a devastating rise in global temperatures. As people of faith uh, who are real relatives of creation, related to creation, it is faithful for us to be involved, to be committed to the ongoing health of, of the land and the water. I like to come at this issue not out of guilt, but out of gratitude. We live on a beautiful, beautiful uh, earthly home. Climate change is important for people of faith because we're human beings, uh, because we believe that creation is part of, of God's plan, not just the human being. Each of us needs to sort out responsible decision making. I've exchanged car ownership for walking and cycling and using public transit. Not everyone can make that choice, but I see us in faith communities learning what it means to choose life over death. We need to adjust our theological premises, and I think that's the major contribution of the Christian churches to this whole debate. We have a, a role to play within the church as, as members of the United Church to uh, support and inform the young ones. I would encourage everybody to uh, contact your member of parliament or the member of your legislative assembly or your town or city council because they need to know what you think about the future we are handing our grandchildren and great-grandchildren. The time is now. It can no longer wait. There is no planet B.